All right. Hello, everyone. It's the Devil Shot here, bringing you. Yes, yes. It's finally here. It's finally happening. It's not a stream highlight. It's an actual video. For the first time in over probably two months, I haven't even checked. Oh my god. There you go. I got my little intro in. Out, in, out, out, in? Would it be in or out? Oh. I had a feel, I had an urge to do that. But yeah. I got it fixed. I got the computer fixed finally. Uh, after 12 hours of working on it today, I finally got the thing fixed. I had to. I had to re-download all of Pinnacle Studio 14, install it all. That took me about six hours alone to download and reinstall and everything. And then it still wouldn't work. Like, it still wouldn't open the import tab and everything. So I had to delete everything over again. I had to re-delete. I had to re-download everything. I didn't have to re-download it, but I had to, like, re install the data I reinstall the data uh, I had then I deleted I decided hey you know maybe it's the save file from the videos that I had saved up I had like three cod fours two dooms a couple of uh, fears and a Skyrim I believe so I'm like hey maybe that's the reason maybe let's try to delete those I delete those and the import tab works I'm like oh uh oh uh oh so then I'm like okay let's I hooked it up to my PlayStation, I hooked up my Dazzle, and I'm like, alright, let's record a little bit here. So I record like a five second clip of just my PlayStation. And I go and I put it into Make Movie, to where that's where I need to go to upload, to make my videos available to upload onto YouTube. So I get that, and I get that all created and everything, and it's just, I, I get that all set up, and it's like... I changed it to MPEG2, which is nor which I thought was normally what I put on, and then it's like it, it did the same thing, where it usually froze up. Like the, I mean, I shouldn't. It, and the laptop was never broke. It was just Pinnacle Studio would never work in the lap on the laptop, so it would, like it would freeze up, and everything would get combined into one screen, and it would just interfere with everything. And Pinnacle Studio would be just like, yeah, there's too much going on. We can't go anymore, and it would just shut down everything. So, after that happened, I restarted, I'm like, so I went on YouTube, I'm like, alright, what's another video file type that I can use? And I saw dot .avi. Dot, or dot .avi. I'm like, alright, let me look for that. And that was the default on the video. I'm like, okay, let's try that. And as soon as I click that, I put that on, I started the video, or I started trying to run, make the video instantly started working i'm like oh my god was that the whole problem the whole, was that the problem the whole time because i kept putting on mpeg-2 instead of avi i i i don't know but i i would have been real angry i'm real angry that that's the actual reason why because that's that that sort of makes me seem stupid <laughs> that makes me seem real dumb actually oh and there you guys see i got the stealth chopper um just saying this video this gameplay's from like 20 minutes ago, it's a TDM match. I go like 30 something, and I think believe it's like three or three or something. I don't know. I don't remember. And I get a, I I started camping in this building because they all were camping in at first, and I'm like, hey, you know what? I know they're all gonna want to get back here, so they all started rushing me. I'm like, I ain't leaving this building. So I pulled out the MP7 with a laser, and I just side, hey, might as well. But yeah, I'm going to start up the uh, COD 4 last play again. I'm going to start... I don't have World at War. I did sell World at War, which is a little bit depressing on my part because I want to do the whole 4 through 9 let's play, but I, can only, I can't do 5, so I'll do Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2, which will probably lead me up to Ghost, probably sometime around Ghost. And then when Ghost comes out, uh, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. I'm going to really... I'm really looking forward to Ghost. Uh, I'm going to take the day next day off of school. I'm going to take the uh, fifth off of school. I'm going to go midnight. I'm going to go to midnight of the release. So I'm going to be come home. I'm going to record. I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to do everything of that. I'll probably do some videos while I'm at GameStop waiting. If I can get a buddy to go or something, maybe I'll go with him. Who knows what 
everyone's doing though. I don't know if everyone's gonna go out, wanna go out at midnight, but I can at least check, you know? But then I'm, I'm gonna uh, get some videos off for you guys while I'm there, and then when I get home, I'm gonna record it. Record some uh, campaign. I'm gonna put two videos up to the campaign a day with one multiplayer. I will do a uh, Road to Commander right off the bat. So right when the game's released, I'm starting my Road to Commander when I get home. I'll I'm gonna probably be playing all night and all day. Because I think believe it comes out on a Tuesday. I gotta go to school back on uh, Wednesday. So I can't, I mean, I can't be playing like all day, all night. Or all night, all day. I'll be have to get off probably at like 10 or 11 to go get some sleep before school. <laughs> Or so, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really care though. I'm Call of Duty Ghosts is out. Uh, but another thing, I'm on a professional call. I'm not on a professional, but I'm on an amateur Call of Duty team right now. Uh, our name is Syntax Gaming. I created it, me, my friend, my cousin, and my other friend. We're like, hey, might as well, you know, we, we we play Call of Duty a lot, and we decided, hey, might as well do it for do it for some reason instead of just playing it to play it. Might as well play for something, or at least, you know, try and get something. Our hopes are ML UMD Chicago possibly next year. And then the year after that for the next, next Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or the next Treyarch Call of Duty. We will possibly go to Anaheim. If not, then the next uh, Infinity War game. But our hopes are in two years to go to Anaheim and go to all the events and everything. But that is a lot of money, let's put it that way, guys. A lot of money. That's $300 for the uh, team ticket, for the team pass, Down. and then whatever it costs to get there. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, uh, sin my Syntex, my team, Syntex Gaming's Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube is going to be linked in the description. My Twitter is going to be in the description as well. So thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.